Hi, my name is Mary. Today FM plays the best music in Lombasa. Today FM rocks. My name is Thomas. I'm here in Nakasi and I like to listen to Today FM because it's rocks. And my name is Milinia. Today FM rocks here in Singatoka. My name is Alkriki and Today FM rocks here in Tawa. My name is Mary Jane. I love listening to Today FM here in Bath. Today FM rocks. My name is Ilay Tiambal and I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks here in Osuri. Today's hit music on Today FM. In the news tonight, Isake Katonimbao remanded in custody. First batch of EFL shares distributed in Nandi. And PCN helps those in squatter settlements save around $2 million. From the studios of FBC Suba, Jackie Spate. National 7's rep Isake Katonimbao has been remanded in custody for seven days for allegedly assaulting a police officer. Katonimbao appeared in the magistrate's court today charged with one count of serious assault. Rachel Nath with the details. <laughs> In the early hours of Sunday morning, the 35-year-old allegedly assaulted Special Police Constable Penny Verikauta in front of the FBC on Carnivan Street. Constable Verikauta was trying to stop the brawl when it is alleged Katanimbao threw two punches, causing him injury. In court today, the defense counsel requested the matter to be called tomorrow. However, the magistrate told the accused that this was not the first time he had committed an offense of this nature, having previously appeared in court regarding an assault on an FEA officer. The magistrate said assaulting any officer is a serious offense and ordered Kotinimbao be held in custody. The case was adjourned to next Monday. Rachel Nah, FBC News. The first batch of Energy Fiji Limited non-voting share certificates were presented to 50 customers in Nandi today. The parcel of 150 shares were offered to customers in Nandi who had their applications approved. Philippe Naikaso has more. With these people being the first batch to own shares with EFL, more Fijians have been encouraged to register in order to reap the benefits. Once the company makes profit, when they declare dividends, you get a share for it all. So if you hold on to the shares, you'll be able to then get the dividends every year. You can use it for your own purposes. You can give it to your family members. You can renovate your house, whatever the case may be. For households that earn less than 30,000 income, they will receive more shares in EFL. The acting prime minister also says that for those that own shares in EFL, they will have a sense of ownership for the company. So you can also say, hey, let's not go and damage the FEA power pool or EFL power pool because that's I'm actually a shareholder. We want you to feel a sense of stakeholdership. We know that uh, we all need this for our benefit, so that's why I apply. And I'm so grateful that I'm just... We know that this will assist us and our family in future if we have shares in EFL. This is a very good for peer, poor people. Eh? This one is subsidized and then the government help our poor people more this time. Approximately 40,000 customers have registered for EFL shares. Philippe and Icaso, FBC News. Meanwhile, the security deposits held by Energy Fiji Limited will not be used to pay for the non-voting shares on offer. A parcel of 150 shares is being offered to all non-subsidized EFL domestic account customers, while 250 shares are being offered to all subsidized domestic customers. Chief Executive Hasmuk Patel stresses that security deposits are held under a provision of the Electricity Act. Patel adds that shareholders will not have to fork out any money for anything. Your security deposit is a security deposit. And the security deposit is held by EFL against your account. You, should you not pay your account, right, for some reason, then we have some security to ensure that we can offset your debt against that account. That's the whole idea. Otherwise, if you do not hold security deposits, then, you know, people could run away and uh, we will end up with a huge debt. NGO The People's Community Network has helped those living in squatter settlements save around $2.5 million. PCN National Director Semiti Ngalawasa says around 780 Fijians have a savings account with them. Savaira Tamboa has more. The PCN not only facilitates housing projects, but also acts as a saving institution for many squatters. They come in with uh, $10, and uh, when they go back, after five years, some three years, they go back with thousands. So, you know, 
Well, maybe their dreams were not met, but at least for Pishan we felt that uh, you know we have achieved something. You know, we come, they came in with this little money to go back with something which can uh, buy them uh, something much more important than the $10 that started, they started off with. People's Community Network believes the saving is a way of alleviating poverty. With savings, I managed to have a house on my own and pay off some of the loans that I took. I started off with a dollar and now I managed to save more than $1,000. According to Ngaloa Sapisia, not only encourages saving for housing, but also to cover the cost of funerals and education as well. Sabira Tambua, FBC News. Still to come, fuel contaminants to be removed from burnt fishing vessel. And the UN World Tourism Organization meets in Fiji for the first time. Bula, never go Malaka Leloma, go in Nakas on the Wagarong, Nambula Fib, Nambondo, and a serre. Oya was it says, a lambasa, and the Teletan of Rome and Nambula Fem, Nambondo and Serre. We have the Tumeli, a corner town of Hinatoka, Teletakin of Rome and Nambula Fem, Nambondo and a serre. Never go find in a town of Singatoka, get on the Teletakan and Bula Fem, Nambondo and a serre. Bula Fem, Nambondo and a serre. Fuel contaminants remaining on board the burned fishing vessel Tuipunga, which caught fire on Friday night, will be removed before it is scuttled by the Maritime Safety Authority of Fiji. MSAF Acting Chief Executive Captain Philip Hill says the vessel will be sunk in an area where it won't damage the marine environment or be a hazard to navigation. Kelly Vavala reports. The aim now for MSAF is to remove the fuel from the vessel before anything else is done. Whatever fuel that is remaining, which is below the, the tank tops of the ship, that is the, like the floor level down in the engine room, that will be checked and then we will extract all that fuel. Once the ship is clean of fuel, then we will sink it. Because at the moment the whole superstructure has been burned out and uh, the ship cannot be reused. So obviously we need to scuttle that ship. Captain Hill says fishing vessels normally have fuel tanks higher than the hull itself, which in this case are expected to completely burn out. Police Chief of Intelligence and Investigations, ACP Vakavingo Tondundua, says investigations into the incident continues. Uh, what we have received so far in an investigation, that the crew members of that fishing boat was uh, doing uh, uh, welding inside the engine room. And uh, this sparked... Uh, uh, fire at the engine and started the fire inside the boat. The vessel was towed out to sea as firefighters could not contain the blaze. It has been left there to completely burn out and there was no reports of casualties as crew members made it out in time. Kelly Vadala, FBC News. Rapid population growth and changing consumption patterns have generated unnecessary pressure on our land resources, eventually causing land degradation. Fiji commemorates World Day to combat desertification today to raise awareness on the global and national actions that address desertification, land degradation and drought. Eleanor Trangaiview reports. Land grabbing, unplanned urban sprawl, unsustainable agriculture practices and over-exploitation. We are excessively relying on land as if it's a limitless resource. How we can meet our most basic needs, let alone our wants, when the amount of healthy and productive land is declining so demonstrably. With a third of the planet's land already severely degraded, Fiji finds itself in a demanding situation with merely about 16% of our total land being arable and productive. So I would ask you, when you choose what to eat, what to wear or what to drive, think about how your choice impacts the land, for better or for worse. For World Day to combat desertification, Lambasa cane farmers highlight how through massive diversification, they are turning land degradation into land restoration. The farmers, where they were earning $20 from that farm, now they earn $100 from the same space. <laughs> it's proper utilization of land. In other words, there is a lot of diversification. 
With the theme, land has true value, invest in it. World Day to Combat Desertification calls on producers, consumers and policymakers to make a difference by investing in the future of our land. Eleanor Turangibu, FBC News. For the first time ever, the United Nations World Tourism Organization meeting is currently being held in Fiji. Countries from Sri Lanka, Indonesia and Australia are part of the three-day meeting with discussions centered on climate change, biodiversity and sustainable tourism development. Philippe Nakaso has more. This meeting is crucial for the region and is an added advantage to Fiji as we can showcase what our tourism industry has to offer. As policy makers, we have to ensure that the tourism development plan is sustainable and its benefits are shared amongst all stakeholders in the industry, especially our local communities. The regional seminar will come up with tangible outcomes and recommendations that can be taken up at other international forums. Fiji has also been commended for taking up a leading role in the Pacific. We are closer to the other islands uh, and I'm sure that Year by year, it, it will become the hub of the region. And uh, we are not here last time. This is first our visit, and I'm sure that this dynamic and this relationship just started. We want to use this opportunity to, to show the UNWTO and East Asia and South Asia, firstly, what Fiji and the region can offer in terms of tourism products. The Secretary General and Member States have been urged to engage and actively support sustainable tourism development in the Pacific region. Philippe Nicasso, FBC News. Samoan novelist Sia Figuel says being proud of one's culture and the way we do things is our identity. And as Pacific Islanders, we need to embrace our culture. She says this is the key teaching for budding writers who took part in her workshop at USP's Oceania Center for Arts, Culture and Pacific Studies today. Catherine Krishna reports. Samoan novelist Sia Figuel says as Pacific Islanders, we need to tap into our own cultural points of reference when we write anything. I want our young creative writers and dancers, our young creative beings to be exposed to Western ways of looking at things, but at the same time on a deeper level uh, to look and to honor their own indigeneity. Director of the Oceania Center, Dr. Francis Square, says participants learned a lot from the one-day workshop. Pacific Island young people are very talented and gifted in the arts, and with just a little bit of development advice, um, should be able to do so much better. So that's what the Oceania Center is hoping to, to achieve by engaging people such as uh, Sia Figuel. Fifteen budding writers took part in the workshop and learned about the Pacific way of writing to express their views. Catherine Krishna, FBC News. Paradise Beverages will continue to support local musical talent after re-signing as a major sponsor for the Thurston Music and Food Festival, a family event to be held next month. General Manager of Marketing Rowena Taito says they've seen the growth and appreciation of local music, but there's still more to be done to help the industry. Festival organizers say the support allows them to provide a platform to host more events. The music festival will be held on the 14th of next month from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. at Suva's Thurston Garden. Tickets are on sale now at the Rock Cafe, the Ginger Kitchen Cafe at the museum and down at FBC. Uh, we suggest that you get in early because tickets are selling quite fast. On the day you can expect to see some really awesome musicians. In sports later with Jamie, France wins its first ever World Rugby Under-20 Championship title, but up next is Rachel with business. Thanks, Jackie. Good evening and coming up after the break. Workshop created to help women entrepreneurs. And in growing Fiji, residents in Wailoku get water supply after major works. Stay with us. Lola, I am Eleanor. For the best classic hits, I only listen to Gold FM here in Singapore. Gold FM, only the classic hits. My name is Seni Rawa. I love listening to Gold FM here in Osuri. Gold FM, only the classic hits. My name is Dino. I'm from Africa, Coral Coast, Singapore. I love listening to Gold FM. Only the classic hits. My name is Salote. I love listening to Gold FM here in Osuri. Gold FM, only the classic hits. 
Bula, my name is Marida. Gold FM plays the best classics here in Altiga, Singatoka. Gold FM, only the classic hits. In business tonight, women entrepreneurs involved in small-scale businesses are taking part in a capacity workshop to learn new ways to boost their businesses. The workshop was organized with an aim to empower women and promote gender equality. Kritika Kumar reports. Minister for Women Marisani Buniwanga says women entrepreneurs need to be equipped with updated data on the market. The objective of this capacity building workshop is to allow the participants to understand their rights and responsibilities, to raise awareness in stimulating early actions to address social issues within communities. Buniwanga says a framework needs to be created that can offer supportive guidance and tools to allow women to take entrepreneurial risks. This two-day capacity development workshop will provide meaningful opportunities to you all. I hope that you will gain new ideas, receive useful information, skills and knowledge. The two-day workshop covers three vital areas, social, economic and political empowerment. And more than 100 female entrepreneurs are taking part. Kritika Kumar, FBC News. Fiji Airways has introduced a range of new benefits for Tambua Club members along with an exclusive new tier club called Tambua Club Plus. The changes also include new mechanisms for earning upgrades and status credits on both Fiji Airways and for the first time on Fiji Link. The airline chief executive says the enhanced Tambua Club program will offer a new level of rewards for the airline's loyal guests. The new benefits kick in on July 16th. And we now join Sean from HFC Bank with the latest from the money market. Let's look at the action on the South Pacific Stock Exchange last week. Six listed stocks were traded, noting various share price movements. FMF shares increased by five cents to end the week at a dollar thirty-six. VB Holding shares rose by twenty-five cents to close at six dollars seventy. Meanwhile, FHL shares declined by a cent, ending the week at five dollars ninety-nine. Following the share price movements, the overall market capitalization increased by 0.35% and ended the week at a value of $2.27 billion. And that's the latest from our local stock market, Menaka. Thanks, Sharon. Taking a look at today's currency exchange rate set this morning for the Fijian dollar. Our dollar showed gains against the Chinese yuan, the Aussie and the Kiwi dollars, as well as the PNG Kina. As for the commodities market, oil prices dropped over two and a half dollars to close at slightly above sixty-four dollars a barrel. Gold closed down at one thousand two hundred and eighty-one an ounce, and silver closed down as well at sixteen fifty-eight an ounce. And in Green Fiji tonight, with the completion of repair works in Savuru Wailoku by the Water Authority, residents in the affected area now have their water supply returned to normalcy. Following the repair work to the main line, all elevated areas received consistent water supply over the weekend. The water supply was disrupted because of a major underground leakage that was a result of a landslip which disclosed the main water pipeline several weeks ago. The Water Authority Chief Operating Officer says this was a difficult repair as it involved laying of a new pipeline along certain sections of the pipeline. And that's business for tonight. Jamie joins you now with sports. Thanks Rachel and good evening in sports tonight. The latest from the FIFA World Cup. And mother of three ready to make a professional debut in boxing. This and more coming up. Hi, I'm Jyotishma. I'm from Singatoka. I love listening to Mitch FM. Mitch FM is hot. I'm Charlene Robert, Mirchi FM, Rocks in Lombasa. I'm Swana Min, Osori Jackson, Mirchi FM is hot. My name is Raymond Dutt, I'm a bubble singer line, Mirchi FM is hot in Lombasa. I'm Kritika from Jackson, Osori. I love listening to Mirchi FM here in Osori. Mirchi FM is hot. Mirchi FM, it's hot.
It was a day for the underdogs in Russia today. In the first major upset of the FIFA World Cup tournament, defending champions Germany was stunned 1-0 by Mexico, while Switzerland held favorites Brazil to a one-all draw. Alexander Kolarov scored a spectacular free kick to give Serbia a deserved victory in the opening World Cup match against Costa Rica. The Serbia captain and former Manchester City defender scored from 25 yards to hand his side the win. England football captain Harry Kane has laid down a challenge to the best in the world as he prepares to step up for the FIFA World Cup opener against Tunisia. Belgian football coach Robert Martinez says his side won't take tournament debutants Panama lightly in the opening FIFA World Cup match tomorrow. Fiji Airways flying Fijians halfback Frank Lomani has attributed his improved performance to his stint with the Melbourne Rebels in Super Rugby. Lomani, who had been training alongside Wallaby's scrum half Will Guinea, has inst was instrumental in Fiji's 37-15 win over Georgia on Saturday. Vastel Prasad reports. Frank Lomani revealed the Australian star halfback Will Guinea has modified him to a top-class player. That was obvious when Lomani came in as a replacement and scored two tries for the flying Fijians against Georgia. Working with uh, Will Guinea in the past uh, a uh, few weeks when I was in uh, Bernadette and he taught me a lot on, on his running games and some of his uh, skills. Lomani has set himself a target which he wants to achieve at the Rugby World Cup in Japan. To play in all the games and uh, to be in the starting lineup. While he remains focused on his performance, coach John McKee believes Tonga will be more tough opponent this weekend. I think Tonga are a much better side than Georgia, so we're going to have to have to be be much sharper in execution, and you know we work hard to create opportunities. We really need to to work to to finish them off. The flying Fijians take on Tonga 3:30 p.m. at Chachal Park in Lautoka. Vashnil Prasad, FBC Sports. France won their first World Rugby Under-20 Championship title after beating England 33 points to 25 in the final today. The French side led 14-3 at halftime. The Fiji men's cricket team is putting in a lot of hours ahead of the East Asia Pacific Sub-Regional World T20 qualifiers in August. Coach Joseph Arika says he's happy with the team's progress so far, but admits they still have a lot more to do to qualify for the World Cup. Luciana Tangedakimba reports. The cricket PG team took a different approach in their training today as they aim to maintain the fitness level ahead of the competition. Uh, it's a good mixture of young players and senior players, so half of the team are new to the format, so it's the second time we're playing here at, uh, on our home uh, ground. Senior player Chukivano Levu Kinda says they will bank on the experienced players come game day. We're bringing that uh, expertise and the quality of cricket they play in Australia. So the Visa Yanga place, so expecting a lot from them. Coach Joseph Arika says they are wary of other teams, but they will play their hearts out to make it in the top two. Three very strong sides coming over, uh, very experienced sides as well. Uh, we just we want to make sure that we uh, play our part um, to the best of our ability. The competition will be held from the 23rd to the 30th of August at Suvas Albert Park. Luciana Tangida Kimbao, FBC Sports. Female boxer Inise Kaunimara says competing for the first time as a professional boxer will be a dream come true. Kaunimara will take on Visila Kolitapa in the middleweight division of the Canada Fiji Southern Boxing Promotions this Saturday. Luciana Tangedakimbao reports. It is rare to see young women in the boxing arena, but for shy Inise Kaunimara, she is ready to do some damage. Ooh. I have been uh, preparing for quite some time now and am aiming for a win and I'm ready for the challenge. Kauni Mara, who has also competed in amateur boxing, says she will use her training and past competitions as a build-up for the major one. One important thing that I've learned is that when I train with boys, it encourages me to be strong and it also strengthens my confidence level and I have no excuse but to fight harder. Trainer and former Fiji rep Oceana Novo says they're confident of a good outcome. We're not underestimating her because she's an experienced person. She's very good. She's a tough woman. We know that very well. Eh? Because she used to train with uh, Inise before. That was back way back in 2015. Yeah, but now she know, you know we know her, uh, know her strong areas now, and she's very good. Yeah, but we're going for a win also. 
Being a mother of three will not dampen the spirit of Kaunya Mara as she looks forward to her first professional fight this Saturday at Nandi's Prince Charles Park. Luciana Tengita Kimbao, FBC Sports. Scotland rugby's Blair Kinghorn will never forget his penalty kick against the USA, which allowed the United States to hang on for its 30-29 first ever win against the Scots. That's it from Sports Tonight. Join Kelly later on with weather and in the world of the weird and the wonderful Meet Africa's King of Condoms. That's coming up. Radio Fiji One, Tonight's new media, we take a look at a phone that scans objects and determines its characteristics, and it also measures fat level. And we join Kelly now with the latest in weather. It was a wonderful day across Fiji with generally partly cloudy skies and lots of sunshine. Taking a quick look at the west, really great weather for the resorts and beaches for vacation conditions. Eastwards from Peck Harbour to Suva, much the same, partly cloudy skies and lots of sunshine. And up north, Lambasa saw more fine weather. At sea, a strong wind warning is in effect for the Vatuira and Kandavu passages, strong south winds 20 to 25 knots and rough seas. Our next high tide will be at 10. 56 tonight with low tide tomorrow at 4.40 a.m. Sunrise tomorrow will be at 6.36 and sunset at 5.38. Tuesday will be another beautiful day across the country and Ba and Lotoka, the warmest at 31 and Suva a comfortable 28. And looking further on to Wednesday, more fine weather. And that's all from the FBC Weather World. Thanks so much for that, Kelly. In Fiji and Pulse tonight, we asked, will the introduction of ticket vending machines make e-cards top up easier? It will save time for the people and, uh, and uh, it will be faster for them to use the e-ticketing if they have it in the bus to recharge. I think it's a good initiative uh, given that uh, the current uh, context we see people lining up in small stations. I think the vending machine will assist the members of the public to avoid queue in the afternoon. May the thing make easier? Yes, we'll get the cards easier. In the world of the weird and the wonderful, a man has named himself as the African King of Condoms. What does he do? He goes around villages in Africa preaching about the impact of using condoms to reduce HIV cases. Recapping the main stories for tonight, Isake Katanimba remanded in custody. First batch of EFL shares distributed in Nandi. And PCN helps those in squatter settlements save around $2 million. Now for these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. To our poll question, this week we're asking, sorry, last week we had asked, do you think police drivers should do more defensive driving courses? 84% said yes. Now this week we're asking, will the introduction of ticket vending machines make e-cards top up easier? Visit our FBC website to answer. Before we go, our shot of the day was taken by an anonymous person at Batutu village in Nandi. Remember, you can send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email fbcnews at fbc.com.fj or share it with us via Facebook page, FBC News. You can also follow and tweet us your news tips at fbc underscore news or simply hashtag FBC News. That was your FBC News for tonight. From the team and I, have a safe and enjoyable week. Good night.
मैं नवनीत नन नम्बालूम बुआ से जैसे प्रेनी नोट मशहूर है वैसे रेडियो फिजी टू भी सभी जगह मशहूर है रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन सीमा नकाशी से मैं रेडियो फिजी टू पसंद करती हूँ सुनने के लिए रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन मैं हूँ अंकल किंग सिंगर टोकर टाउन के टैक्सी ड्राइवर जैसे रग्बी फेम में से वैसे रेडियो फिजी टू फेम में से रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन